guys, welcome back to my channel and another monthly haul here. Today I have the first monthly haul of the new format, which if you're not aware of my new format and the rules and all that, I'm gonna get into that in just a second. But before we do, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to this company, Rose Forever, who sent me these really beautiful roses in the mail. They are preserved roses. And they're like treated with some kind of oil. So maybe not preserved, but treated uh, with some kind of oil that helps them to last for up to a full year looking, you know, really fresh and pretty and like right off of the rose bush here. They sell a bunch of different colors of these roses, like red, black, blue, pink, I think yellow. There was just a bunch on the website. They let me pick out the one that I wanted and I chose red in the clear box because I just felt like it would kind of go with all my decor. Because I personally, I love flowers, but I don't like buying flowers because they die so quickly. And I just don't want to have to keep buying the flowers because that gets expensive. But these are supposed to last up to a year, which kind of seems perfect. So I thought they would be cute in my little background here in my room. And in that like clear acrylic packaging, it kind of matches a lot of like the little shelves and stuff that I have sitting on my Helmers. They also have some that are in these black kind of velvety, they almost look like a hat box and the roses look like they're growing right up out of the hat box. Those are really pretty as well. And they even had these cute little singular ones that were in those little velvet hat boxes. And I just feel like these are either the perfect gift for Valentine's Day, which of course is coming up, or, you know, a birthday or a anniversary, just some kind of special occasion, because these will last quite a long time versus the bouquet that you get from the florist that lasts, you know, seven to 10 days, at least the way I'm doing it. And uh, then they need to be disposed of. So I just feel like these would make a great gift for somebody in your life. This box, you can remove the lid. I think I'm gonna leave the lid on just to prevent any kind of like dust from accumulating. And it also has like a little drawer on it, which I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I do love boxes for trinkets. So this one was kind of right up my alley. They did let me know that they're going to be having 60% off of their website, but they gave me a code as well that you guys can use on top of that. If you wanna go look around the code and the link to the store, Will be down below in my description box. The code is going to be Manny's 25 and that should get you $25 off at checkout. But yeah, if you're like me and you like flowers, but you don't like the hassle of them always dying and you having to throw them away, these seem kind of like the perfect little thing to have as a fixture in your home. And I'm happy to have them in my background. But with all that said, let's get into the details of the haul. So like I said, this is the first of my budgeted hauls this year. And what I am doing in the year 2023 is I'm taking all of the revenue from anything that I make as mediocre Manny. So if I make ad revenue here on YouTube, if I ever get sponsorship money or revenue from my codes, things like that, all of that over the past couple of years, I think only one year since I've been monetized, I've just been putting away. I haven't really done anything with it. And so now I was like, well, why don't I just let my channel kind of sustain itself? So all of that money from the previous month will be my budget for the current month. So in the case of January, December's revenue is my budget for January. That is the only money I'm allowed to use towards nail polish or nail adjacent things like tools, um, acetone. I even have some label tape that I use for my swatch sticks, things like that. That all must come from my nail budget. Even though I have like a personal spending budget each month, that money cannot, will not, should not be used for nail related things. Only my revenue from my channel and so on. Anything that does not get spent in the current month gets rolled over into the next month and gets added to whatever revenue I made. So because this is January, because this is the first month, we don't have any rollover, obviously, but I did have a slightly larger budget this month than I typically would. Because I posted 31 videos in December, I made a little bit more revenue here on YouTube than I would in a typical month. I also laid out three exceptions for this budgetary constraint, and that was this month, January, I was going on a nail trip to go to like the Orly Color Labs and What's Up Nails with some friends. And I decided that if I went over, it was okay because it was, you know, the first time I was meeting my friends in real life, 
we were going on a trip. Like I wasn't going to spend all this money to get to California and then just be like, I'm sorry, I have to pinch pennies. I didn't want to do that, but I didn't end up actually going over. Spoiler alert there. Uh, my second exception is Polish and Beauty Expo in July. That just listen, that that one's going to be a human disaster again. I don't want to not spend a lot of money. I That's part of the fun of going to that is spending a lot of money on beautiful polish. So that is an exception to the rule. I will just pull from my personal savings for anything that I want to buy there. Um, and then the final exception is my birthday because I have decided when I turned 30, I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to buy myself whatever I want for my birthday. And I did. And you know what? That felt great. And I'm going to do it again. I don't usually do that. I, I usually am like, oh, it's my birthday month. I'll buy myself a couple things, whatever. And then I get real in my head about spending money because believe it or not, I'm a little bit uptight about money. You wouldn't know it from this channel, but in every other aspect of my life, I'm like pinching pennies. I'm like, can we eat the cardboard that the food came in so we don't have to buy more food? Like, I'm kind of weird like that. But this past September, I, I, I bought a lot for my birthday. Um, and you know what? I'm going to do it again if I want to, if I feel like it. This is There's no pressure. I don't have to spend this money if I don't feel like it. This is not like a you, you, you don't spend it, you lose it kind of a scenario. But anyways, let's get into the actual budget because I'm sure that's all you guys actually want to hear from me. So like I said, no rollover. So January's budget in total was $403.54. Now that includes my YouTube ad revenue and uh, one affiliate code that I make money off of. I have three affiliate codes that pay me. That would be Beyond Polish, Amazon, and my Moxie code. Uh, but really the only one that regularly pays out is my Beyond Polish one because the other two I just don't really, people don't use those as much, I guess. I don't know. But so yeah, it was only my Beyond Polish code and my YouTube ad revenue. That's higher than normal. I would say in an average month fluctuates around $200. Uh, but because I put out 31 videos, I made more in ad revenue. However, the math doesn't really make a ton of sense because I was getting the same amount of views in December as I typically do. Actually, I got more views overall than I would in any other month, but I made like less per video. I don't know what that's about, but I still walked away with like 400 bucks. So that's fine. And that is what I had to spend here in January. So let me tell you what I bought and what I got in PR. So the very first thing that I received was PR from Orly. And that was on January 12th. I didn't make any purchase up to this point. On January 12th, I received the Orly Valentine's Day Trio, which includes Wink Wink, a pink cream, Let's Go Girls, a vibrant like neon pink and like fuchsia-y glitter topper, but I think you could build that up in a few coats and be full coverage. And then I got Sup, which is a glitter jelly, and it's it's hollow glitter in there. So they sent me actually two boxes on the same day. So I got these three polishes. I got a few nail art brushes from Orly, which I think these are like metal. They're really nice. Um, we got a short detailer, which is a really fine point there. A striping brush, which I don't know if you can see, it's like out to here, how long that brush is. And then a dry brush, which this one, I, th I think this is like a wooden ferrule, but, or barrel. I think this is the ferrule. I don't know. But now that I have all these nice nail art brushes, I should just be an expert in nail art. They also sent a four ounce bottle of the Orly Genius Remover, which I believe we got an eight ounce bottle in a color pass recently. I already used it all up. I really like this remover. I feel like it's very similar to the Zoya Remove Plus, only it's cheaper. And I feel like it's just as effective. So for the cost, you'd probably be better off buying the Orly one. And they also sent a bottle of their new, I think it's new, cuticle oil. And this is another one that we got in the Color Pass recently. So I actually have a bottle of this already, but you can never have too much cuticle oil, am I right? Like uh, my cuticles are super dry right now. I should probably use it. And of course that was all zero dollars because that came in PR. Two days later on the 14th, that was when I was in California 
and we went to Orly Color Labs, which if you want to see more about that, I did post a vlog. I'll link it up in the cards and you can see my experience in California going to the Color Labs, What's Up Nails. Um, we went to like the Crayola factory. This is like a fun little mall experience for children that we went to as an adult. Um, yeah, but all that was really fun. But the very first thing that we did was Color Labs. If you don't know what Color Labs is, it's a storefront run by Orly where you get to mix up your own custom polishes. You get to name them. Uh, Kelly Marissa has done collaborations with them a couple times at this point and made her own polishes with them for sale to us. Um, I got to make my own polishes. So the first thing we did, my friend Stephanie and I, was we mixed up four, yeah, four bottles of this polish, which is called Stillery. It's a combination of our names, Stephanie and Hillary. It's like a grungy green with a pink shimmer. We both did a bottle for ourselves and then one to give away. And so I paid for two of those bottles, one for myself and one for my giveaway. And then I mixed up another polish and this one is a yellow with a gold shimmer. This is called Bubba's Butter, which I explain in the vlog, but basically the reason it is named such a horribly disgusting sounding name is because as a child and still to this day, my parents call me Bubba. And if you were here, on my channel for a long time, you might know, I've told this story before, I used to eat butter as a child. I swear to you, I don't remember doing that. My dad and mom insist that I did that. I would like to say that I didn't, but I don't think they're lying. That seems like a thing that a toddler would do. So I named it Bubba's Butter because I thought that would be funny and it's alliteration. So those three custom polishes were in total $61.20. They broke down to $20.40 each. They gave us a discount, I think because we were buying so many polishes. And then this, because it's polish related, I'm counting it. I bought it at the Orly Color Labs. Um, it's called, it all started with pink. It is a biography by Jeff Pink, who is the founder of Orly. This is a book that I've wanted to read for quite a while, but online I could only find digital copies. So when I saw that they had a physical copy in the store, I was like, I gotta have that. And I believe it was like $20 or something like that. But because I got the discount, it ended up being $16.99. And so in total at the Orly Color Labs for one book and three polishes, I spent $85.62. Not cheap, but it was a lot of fun. You know, I think that base, the polishes are 25. So getting the discount did take a significant chunk off, but the Color Labs, they do like parties and stuff like that and events if you wanted to. So I feel like that would be a really fun thing to do if you had just a small group of friends or something like that as a, as a cool activity to do together. So that was the first purchase, $85 and 62 cents. Already digging in deep to that budget. That evening, my friend Stephanie was like, hey, do you want this? And it's Orly's Fireball, which it's like a pinky orange and it's got, I think it has a pink shimmer running through it. I think she bought this when she already had it. And I was like, I literally never say no to free nail polish. People are always like, do you want this nail polish? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, you don't even know what it is yet. And I'm like, I don't care. I want it. So of course I said yes. And then she mixed me up a thing, a vial, a roller ball of her like special cuticle oil mix, which again, you can never have too many cuticle oils. And I love the roller ball format. I just, ever since Cuticle Buddy introduced me to that, that's like the only thing I wanna use is a roller ball. So that was $0 from my budget. On the 15th, Stephanie and I went to Marshall's and I was kind of like, man, I hope that you guys have good stuff. Cause like near me, the Marshall's, the TJ Maxx is all that, they have the same like thousand bottles of OPI bubble bath and that's about it. There's just not much, it's very picked over here. But I've heard that in California, like stores seem to be like better stocked. And so I was like kind of raring to go. I'll like pop up a picture. But the first thing that I bought was this static nail set. <laughs> why did I buy this? I don't know. Cause it was $12.99. That's why I bought it. And these 
Static nail, like little mini palettes, they're so stupidly expensive. The polishes are not bad. That like static nails is not bad. It's just, they're so expensive. I don't think that they are worth retail value on their website. I think that you should buy them on a discount if possible. Um, I've done a review on them before on my channel and I, I like these polishes. I think that I like these little bottles, even though they are impossible to use because they tip over. Um, but this is, it's called the Perfect Shears Set. They're kind of like Krelly-ish formula and they're like mostly nudes and neutrals. They are all nudes and neutrals, not mostly, they just are. It also came with a top and a base coat, but I already like threw them in a drawer because I've got a few of those. Um, so yeah, I guess I fugue state, that's what I'm gonna say. And then at this Marshalls, they had their nail polishes in the most inconvenient spot, which is directly where people stand in line. So we were just like being super inconvenient to everyone around us. Uh, but that's okay because I, I blame the Marshalls. Uh, I got OPI's Coca-Cola Red, which guys, listen, I think I like to wear red polishes now. I've been wearing red polish all month and I'm, I'm over my weird aversion to it, I think. Um, but yeah, Coca-Cola Red, this is one that I heard about and like they did like a collaboration with Coca-Cola and out of the whole lineup of that collection, I just wanted the Coca-Cola Red because I feel like that would be kind of an iconic shade. And it's been on my wish list for a while. It's not like one that I was like dying to seek out, but they had it, they had like a million of these for $4.99 at the Marshalls. So I was like, all right, gotta grab that. And then I bought a Scam Infinite Shine because Infinite Shine is just regular OPI, I'm convinced. Like I don't, the somebody could sit down and like explain to me the science of Infinite Shine and be like, no, it's a scam. I don't believe you. Um, but this color is really, it's, it's like sweet potato, which I hate sweet potatoes. I I think they're gross, I'm sorry. They're sweet potato fries, like why would you pay more for worse fries? Sweet potato pie, bleh, like I don't like it. Um, but this color, I like it. And this one is called, have your panettone and eat it too. And I don't think I probably said that right, but this color, listen, it's probably, I think it'll look good on me, maybe. I don't know, but this one was also $4.99. And then they had some NCLAs, which this is a brand that I see online sometimes and I've wanted to try them and I just never did. And then listen, this whole thing, it's sticky. This bottle is sticky because the whole thing, if you look at my vlog, it was covered in like a label sticker, letting me know so graciously that it was $3.99, but now it's sticky. It's called Golden Coast, which like, girl, it's gray. So golden, where'd you get that? I don't know, but I haven't, I've put it on a swatch stick, but that I haven't put it on my nails yet. But the cap is like this really, really gentle, barely there pink, and it's kind of soft. And I, so the total of that shopping trip plus tax was $29.05. And and then later that day, we went to Denny's at like 10 p.m. And we met up with Stacy, who is Quality Nails over on Instagram. And she gave me a couple of polishes for free. Uh, one is OPI's Yo Gotta, Yoga. Why is it so hard? It, it's supposed to be like, you gotta get this blue, but it's Yoga to get this blue. And I just feel like somebody needs to arrest whoever's making up these names because they're so hard to say. Um, yoga, to, you, yoga, it's blue. It's this blue OPI and it's like kind of shimmery and I like that because I love a like sapphire tone. And then she was like, hey, uh, I really hate the shape of this bottle. It freaks me out. And I was like, I'll take it off your hands because I love a jewelly purple. And this one is called Knockout and it is by Koki. Um, but yeah, she's not wrong. This bottle is somewhat phallic, so. On the 16th, Stephanie, Stacy, and I all went to What's Up Nails over in Arizona. And this was pretty much the lion's share of my spent this month, which is pretty much what I was prepared for. I got like nail art stuff as well as polish. So I, for the nail art stuff, I'm just gonna pop up pictures because I already put a lot of that stuff away just filed it in my little folders or whatever. Um, but the first thing I have to show you guys is, it's called like the Hinge. 
And I think it's by the brand, Twe yeah, it's by Tweeksy. It's like the Tweeksy hinge. And what this is, is you can put a bottle into this little secret hole here. Okay, don't do that in real life, kids. Um, <laughs> um, you can angle it so that if your bottle's running low or whatever, and it like suctions to the suctions to the table uh and like you can't really knock it over but you can like twist it all around and things like that and it's i don't know a useless gadget that i wanted for my desk and i like it so that was 17.99 i got a stamper and a scraper set uh because you can never have too many stampers and that one was 10.58 it's just like a round monocle stamper. I got the eggs and it's like wakey wakey eggs and bakey stamping plate. That one was $3.88. I forgot to mention What's Up Nails was having their annual like up to 80% off sale. Um, this plate had like a lot of like food themed stamping stuff. And you guys know I love food themed polishes. I like food themed stamping stuff. I just think like cute food is just fun. I don't know. I, um... I like food. I don't know. I got this Moyu London Halloween plate right here. And this one called the Lena Make Your Mark plate. Uh, those I'm going to both call $0 because the cashier did not ring them up, apparently, when she put them in my bag. Um, they were not on the receipt. I got the Monstera nail vinyls. And those were $2.63. I love Monsteras. I'm obsessed with the big, huge, like lush Monstera leaves. So I had to get those. I got these slime ones, which were $1.88. I love a slime manicure. I just like slime. I got, I have like slimes. I have, I bought one that smells like Red Bull and my boyfriend was like, stop buying slime. Like, why are you, why do you like slime? And I'm like, I like to touch it. It's nice. I don't know. Um, he does not understand the concept of slime. So I needed to do a slime manicure. I got these fire ones because they were A, 75 cents, and B, when I was a kid, I had these, these Converse that were black and they were like flames on the side and I wore those until they had to be duct taped back together. And then my parents were like, Hillary, stop duct taping your shoes. You look homeless. And they were like, we need to buy you new shoes. But I loved those shoes. I loved fire decals. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I wanted a car with fire decals as a kid. As an adult, I'm like, oh, that makes you kind of lame. But I still secretly deep down in my heart just love fire decals. So I had to get these. And then I got a handful of polishes while I was there as well. So I got Cadillacer Vermilion, which is this bright orange with these like popping neon yellow glitters. This one was full price. It was $14.50. I regretted not getting this on launch. I had gotten a couple other from this collection when it launched, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's the same collection that I'm thinking of. And I just didn't get this one, even though I was like, oh, I kind of want it, but I was on the fence. Then I saw it in real life and I was like, okay, I have to have that one. So I got that, even though it was $14.50. This KB Shimmer called Let It Slide was $7.70. It was on sale. And I like KB Shimmer. They're a good price point even when they're not on sale. And yellows are just fun. And if I have swatches of these by the time I film this video, I will pop them up here. Uh, but I haven't swatched everything yet. I got three polishes from Bow for $6 a piece, I believe. I've always wanted to try this brand. Um... Maybe not always, I say always, but ever since I heard of this brand, which I think I think I heard of it through Kelly Marissa, uh, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I just never bought from it. There's something, I feel like, you know, I love shopping online a lot, but there's something to be said about going into a store, being able to pick up a product and like looking at it that really does convince me a little bit better. But these are all murkier colors that have really vibrant shimmers running through them. So we have Bulletproof, which is an orangey brown with a purple shimmer running through it. We have Synthetic, which is kind of like a teal with, I think it's like a goldy green running through it. And then I have Gray Area, which is a gray. Um, and it's got like a greenish yellow shimmer running through it. And I love a funky shimmer. And so these are ideal. I just, the corners are really sharp. So I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself. 
But yeah, those are six bucks a piece. Uh, they had Cirque Colors Haze Jelly, which is one of the jellies from Cirque that I've been wanting. It's a purpley grayish jelly. And I feel like Cirque does funky jelly colors really well. This one was $12.50, so full price. And then they had some Emily Damali. Their polishes were really, really, really picked over in my opinion, but they still had a lot of good stuff. It's just, I don't know if they don't keep a massive stock, like, or they just sold a lot recently and hadn't gotten stuff in, but they had a few Emily Damalis and this one's called Wasteland. And it's like a, it's got like a greenish red multi-chrome flip. And then it has yellowy gold glitters running through it. It's just a grungy, gross green looking color. So, you know, I had the habit. That one was 13, which was, I believe, full price. And so that was the entire trip to What's Up Nails on the 16th. And that in total came out to $108.24. On the 17th, so the next day, we went back to What's Up Nails <laughs> because we wanted to do like one final pass through. And I got a few more plates and stuff like that. So I got this Moira Origami plate for $10.54. My friend Stacy also picked it up. So I thought maybe at some point we could do like matching manicures. I got this one called, it's by like Leslie and it's called like Factura or something like that. $11.03. And then I got a bunch more nail vinyls because I found a bunch that were like 75 cents each. And I'm like, eh, you can't beat that. So I got these ones that are like a knit stitch. I thought they were hearts when I grabbed them, but upon closer look, yeah, they're literally like, they look like knitting. Um, and then I got these cute little apple ones. I grabbed these graveyard ones for Halloween. I thought those were pretty cool. I got this mosaic one that I feel like would be fun to do a gradient over. And then I got these spooky eyes again for Halloween. I thought those were really fun. And then because Stacy harassed me because I didn't pick this up the first time, I grabbed Cirque's Sticky Icky, which is, it was $8.75, it was on sale. And it was, it was a Halloween, it was part of their Halloween launch. I think they, they didn't do much for Halloween. It was like this, a glow in the dark top coat. I think like one other thing. But yeah, I ended up picking this up and I'm glad I did because she wore it recently and she sent me pictures. And I was like, man, that is such a good green. So got that. And the total for all of that was $36.73. I also placed an order with Fandom Flakies that day because they were doing a SpongeBob theme. Now I didn't, I didn't fall in love with the polishes, but Ribbit Stickets had two water slide decal pages and there was also a sticker. So I got both water slide decal pages, which were six bucks each. There's one that's called Who Lives in a Pineapple? And the other one is Under the Sea. And then the sticker is Doodle Bob, which if you are a SpongeBob aficionado like myself, you know, you know who Doodle Bob is. So I just, I had to buy that too. Uh, total came out to $21.40 after shipping. And then that day I was talking to my friends about how I remember when Simply Nailogical first tried stamping or one of the first times she tried stamping on her channel, she had like a massive stamper. Like it looked like a, like a blackboard eraser. Like it was huge. And I was like, man, I always wanted one of those, but I can't find them anywhere. Well, Stacy did some digging and she found one on AliExpress and sent me the link and it was $9 and five cents. And so I bought it and it's not going to be here until probably the end of this month. Cause you know, it ships from China and I think it's like by boat, which takes forever. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to use that giant stamper <laughs> on the 19th. I was making swatch sticks for, you know, all my new goodies and wouldn't you know it. I ran out of label tape. So I bought some more clear label tape for my label maker. It has gone up drastically. Um, the last time I bought it, it was not, I feel like it was like 16 or $17. This time on Amazon, it was $21 and 80 cents. And because that's nail related, I got to count it in here. And I was like, dang, Amazon, chill out. Label tape? What the heck? On the 23rd, I received some PR from Orly. Uh, this is the newest six piece collection. I'm gonna show it on the screen. So if you haven't got your color pass for some reason, close your eyes, don't look. Uh, this is the Hopeless Romantic collection. It's three creams, three like shimmer slash glitters. They sent me this six piece and then they also sent me their new 
one night stand peel off base coat, which I got to tell you, this was a six hour stand for me. So, um, it didn't stay down very well on my nails, but I also just don't, my body is not good with peel off base coats. It's just like, bye, rejected, get out. Um, so the first time I wore it, it was like 16 or so hours and then the second time they started falling off at six so i don't know it seems like it'd be good for something where and i'll reiterate this probably in my review of the color pass which is coming up soon uh it just seems like one of those products where you're like going to an event where you want to wear super glittery nails and that's it you know you're fine with them coming off right after the event uh so yeah that was zero dollars i got that on the 23rd on the 25th my actual color pass because i was subscribed to the color pass but i also got added to the pr list uh but my actual color pass came in so now i got this i got these um one of these will either go in the giveaway pile or i'll give them to somebody i don't know yet i haven't decided but yeah i got a second six piece set which is untouched i got a second one night stand peel off base coat which i don't know if i'm going to keep or give away depends sometimes i like to use peel off base coat for swatching but sometimes i don't so and they also sent a brush in the color pass it's a long detailer brush so it's about i don't know it's not a very long brush it says it's a long detailer brush but like i don't know anything about art or like what is this is about but again it's the same same quality as as these brushes from earlier. So now I've got like a bajillion Orly brushes, which I'm not mad about. And the color pass is something that I paid for last year. I re-up in October. Uh, so that was $0, I guess, towards this budget because it's, it's already paid for. The final thing that I purchased this month was on the 27th. And I was kind of going back and forth on this because I had I had a lot of people send this to me and they were like, Hillary, this is right up your alley. And I looked at it, I was like, that is just, that's me. That's right up my alley. That's, that's my thing. And that is the Cuticula Rogue Prugly Duo. And Nick's Polish literally sent this to me like two or three times. It was like, Hillary. And I'm like, Nick, stop sending me stuff. I don't want to buy things right now. Um, but... I was talking to my friend Bookish Bariqua and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy that. And then I'm gonna make that the last thing I buy because I didn't buy from the BKL Respawn Palooza. I refrained from getting into that craziness. So I spent $30.50 and it's a pre-order. So I don't know when those are coming in. I didn't even, didn't even read when it was coming in. I was just like, I'm buying them. Uh, very responsible that's what I am. Um, so yeah, that was, that was it. I checked my nail polish budget and I was like, all right, you're good. Today is the 30th. So unless I get myself into some hijinks today or tomorrow, that's that. Like I said at the beginning, I started with $403.54. If I did my math right, I spent $320.59, which leaves me with $82.95 to roll over into February, which is good because I didn't, I checked my YouTube ad revenue so far for January. It's not, it's not that high. I've heard that it goes down a little bit at the beginning of the year, but also I just didn't post for like the first 10 days because I was taking a break. So I made a little bit less that is going to be applied to February. So just, pack that rollover budget in. Good thing February is a short month, I guess. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got in the month of January. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this format, if there's like a better way you want me to frame it. I don't know. I just feel like I always like to hear dollar amounts when I watch like beauty YouTube and stuff. Um, I used to watch a girl who she would go through everything that she bought and got in PR and like talk about the value of it. So I always thought that that was cool to hear. But if you guys hate this, if it feels too long winded, let me know down in the comments and I'll see how I can adjust that for you. But that is going to be it from me. I've got a lot of other filming to do, so I got to get to it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.